Hi, my name is Patrick. Uh, this specific video is to tell you about how to avoid social media distractions while studying. I mean, I've been training students for the CAT examination, so I understand that one of the biggest problem in cracking the CAT is the social media and whatever. You go on the internet on a regular basis, you get distracted, you move off studying, and that is a total wastage of time as far as CAT is concerned. So, I mean, the importance of social media could differ from person to person, but let's try to understand how to avoid social media distraction while studying. I do train students for the CAT examination at the entrance exam. So this video is people preparing for CAT, but everyone can watch it. I right? don't see how is it different. Let's start with defining what is distraction. Something that turns your attention away from something you want to concentrate on. So I want to do a task. But suddenly I my attention is moved away. I mean, and I try to do something else. Now that could be fine, may not be fine. But is social media a distraction for you? I mean, you want to do something, but you end up doing something else because there's a distraction. I mean, a lot of people do multitasking and that becomes an issue because you do one task, and suddenly second task comes, and you fo don't focus on the main task, but the second task comes into picture. The same is with social media. A lot of people, when they do work, then suddenly social media is distracting. They move to social media and the main task gets neglected. So does it affect your ability to concentrate when you're studying? You need to think about it. Answer the question. I mean, do you think it's a distraction for you? Yes or no? If it's no, then you can no point watching the video. If it is yes, you can continue watching. Okay. And do you feel that does it anyway hamper your studying habits? I mean, yes, continue watching. No. You can switch off. But understand, are you in denial? A lot of students who are in social media, I mean, they don't believe it's a problem. They're in denial, basically. They feel that, no, it's not a problem. Uh, though, if you really analyze yourself, you will realize that social media, for almost all the people, is a problem in terms of to achieve whatever their targeted goals are. It could be work, it could be study, it could be anything. So what we're looking at is to avoid, I'm not completely more about how to avoid social media as far as possible, or how to reduce the problem with regards to social media. Now, let's try to first understand what are the causes. I mean, this is a research which has shown. I mean, the two broad problems the research has shown why people move into social media or why does it cause distraction. The first is social. I mean, you need your need for affiliation that you want to be social, you want to be get along with everyone else. Something that is a new terminology that's coming called FOMO. Okay, fear of missing out. I mean, you do want to miss out on the groups which are formed or the social interaction that is there. So you have a fear of me missing out, and that's why you want to have better. I mean, you your offline social media interaction may not be as good, and you want to have better social media interaction. That's one reason. Okay, second could be task related. You're doing something else, but you do want to do it. For example, I want to. I'm reading. But I want to avoid reading and certainly the social media, I feel better to move into social media, thus avoid what I want to do. So it basically focuses on self-control. I mean, there are two main reasons, there could be other reasons, but there are two main reasons why social media causes distraction. Either you want to be socially involved and you have, have a fear of missing, missing out or you do want to do something and therefore you try to look at social media as a getaway. I mean, do something which you would avoid doing. So there are four stages of habit creation. This is from James Clear. We are now trying to look at James Clear as a the book that is there and try to look at how is he doing it and I mean, how, his cues and how does it help to create so four stages. One is cue, craving, response, reward. I mean, what does it mean? So let's try to understand that. Okay. Cue, I mean, normally a cue is something that starts your habit. I mean, you see your mobile phone or you see your notification and then you certainly want to get that's a cue to make it you know so normally most of the case it's a notification you see a notification or suppose you're scanning youtube and you see your in interesting youtube video and you want to do it so it's a cue which is that so if you want try to stop make it invisible and move off it and try to stop your notification if possible make it unattractive the second craving you're craving for it you see it okay that's the first cue now you want to watch it because you're attracted towards it, you want to see it as such. But try to make it un unattractive. Maybe psychologically telling yourself that, no, this is not what I like. Or something, make it unattractive, knowing that this is a distraction to you as such. Okay, response. I mean, if it's easy to respond, you will want to do it, etc. 
So make it difficult to respond. I mean, try to avoid make it difficult as such. And in the end, try to make it dissatisfying. Even if you have it, ensure that you feel dissatisfied with that. I will just give you an example. Not related to social media. And my brother-in-law, basically, he had this whole habit of binge eating. I mean, chips, I mean, fast food, etc. While he's working, COVID period, you work and you have this binge eating habit. So he wanted to stop it. The first step he did was he kept it away from it. It was around him as such when he was working. Therefore, you should keep on having it. He kept it away from it. Slightly helps. But unfortunately, it did not hamper his habit. So he still had to do. He still was binge eating. Then what he did was he kept it in the cupboard. Okay. So that uh, it becomes difficult. I mean, you make it difficult. That's what the whole thing is. I mean, yeah, something may work, something may work. So, and it was invisible also. It was difficult to go and get the, this one. But uh, it still didn't stop. Then what he did was he kept that whole packet of chips on the top shelf, which was there. Okay, make it and then it becomes really more difficult because to actually get it, he had to actually get a stool, pick it up, and then have it. And that stopped his binge eating habit. I mean, make it difficult to have it. I mean, try to move the whole chip packet away from it. One of the biggest problem in you know habit creation is being visible. So if you see something you'd want to do it, try to keep it invisible, try to keep your mobile phone away from you. Okay, and even if you see the mobile phone, make it difficult for you to try to get it. I mean, remove those apps away from your mobile phone, try to make it difficult or block it as such. Do something that could make it difficult for you to get. So what are two strategies? I mean, one is keep the phone out of sight, as I said. I mean, switch off notification. I and mean, you're looking at in trying to externally trying to avoid the whole thing. So keeping the phone away, stopping the notification. So normally common thing is people look at notification, move into social media, try to, I mean, People believe I have to be in con contact with people. It's not necessary. I mean, research has shown that you don't have to be in touch. I mean, I remember there was a time when I used to be constantly there for this, uh, I mean, on the social media trying to help out students. And I realized students don't want immediate response. I mean, I can always be on the phone like twice or thrice a day, respond to your queries and still they be satisfied with whatever queries I'm solving. Okay. And there have been cases where people lived without social, social media from phones in a long, long time. So it's not a big problem as such. Okay. Also, one more strategy in this whole thing is keep a fixed time for social media or being on the internet. So saying morning 9 to 10, I will be on the internet. Okay. Then I'll take a break. Then maybe 2 to 3, I'll be on the internet. So keep a fixed time where you'll be on the internet, not before, not after that. Try to keep a proper timetable for social media or the internet and avoid being on the internet before or after. Because if you're on the internet, there's a high chance you'll move on to social media. Okay. So try to fix your time as far as schedule is concerned. Second strategy to avoid, find out a reason, okay, for this certain, and why are you doing it? So you have a distraction happening. Maybe uh, the distraction could be because you're doing something which is not interesting. So write it down, note it down why the distraction is happening. I mean, or you see a phone and you saw and see a good notification you want to go across. Write down the distraction so that you're aware about it. This is to make you self-aware. This is now you're working internally, creating self-awareness. Write down your thoughts when you feel to reach out for the device. So you are taking the phone to think what the thought process is there when you want to take the device. So that you're more aware about the cause. The knowing your cause helps you to solve the problem. So knowing the cause, what's the reason? And try to figure out what is it. Reflect on them. Check on whether it is rational. Is it okay? Whatever, whatever your reason you're giving, is it fine or not fine? Be true to yourself. But check out the reason. And if possible, try to replace with another habit. For example, uh, Maybe you're uh, taking, going to social media for having a break from your studies or some work. Fine. If that becomes a distraction or you feel it becomes addictive, then try to look at some other distraction. Maybe you can take a reading habit or maybe you can go for a walk, something on that. Create some another habit, replace it with some other habit, which is not a distraction, which could really help as such. So look at these both strategies. One is external, one is internal to help you solve the problem. Hope that helps. Thank you.